Right. Good afternoon. In this video, we're going to run through how to do a full image backup of your robot. So this is going to be an image of my LR Mate 200 ID 4S. This is the cell that we have at my school. So we're going to do a full image backup for again, if something goes wrong or at a later date that I try to transfer something from RoboGuide to our robot and it does not work, I have an original image to fall back on just in case things go awry, which it does happen from time to time. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take a USB that is dedicated to our machine, uh, whether this has file backups or also other image backups. We're going to take this USB, we're going to add it to our teach pendant, or you can also add it to the controller um, as well. It doesn't matter which one you do. One's a little bit faster than the other, but I like to do things in the teach pendant. So on the side of your teach pendant, I added my USB. All right, so from the USB now, with it added to our teach pendant, we are now going to do an image backup. So we're going to go to menu. We're going to arrow down to file, arrow over to file number one, so number seven, and then number one. I'm going to hit enter on that which brings us up to a file. Now I did a, a file backup already, so you'll see that I actually have a folder inside there, but I don't want to use that folder. Um, and I'm going to go to the main directory of our flash drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first make sure that I'm in the correct thing, never assume, even though it shows that. I always like to go set device, go down to USB on teach pendant, and there we go. So it should say UT1. If it doesn't say UT1 or the directory that you're looking for, um, then you do that. Next thing is we're going to go up one level because I don't want to be in this folder. I want to put my images on the flash drive itself. Now you can create a folder that has the images in there. I personally like to be on the top end of my flash drive or the root area of my flash drive when I do uh, the backup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up one level. So I'm going to hit enter, brings me up. So you should see UT1 and you should see the folder now. So you should see the folder as well as the asterisk dot asterisk, which means that we're at that root folder inside there. So we're going to go to backup, which is F4. So we're going to go to backup F4. And then we're going to arrow down to next or hit zero on the keypad, which will bring us to backup number two. And then the second one is going to be our image backup. So the second one's going to be our image backup. So we arrowed down to next, and then we brought ourselves to image backup. I'm going to hit enter on that. And it's going to say, do we want to do current directory or if we do the ethernet, we have it on a USB. So we're going to go current directory. There we go. Okay. Then it's going to ask us to cycle power. Now, if you have an LR mate, like I have, I have to manually cycle power. If you have a little bit larger robot, this will cycle power for you. So I'm going to hit okay here. So now I have to cycle the power. So once I'm in there, I'm going to cycle the power. So I'm going to turn it off and then turn it back on. And then it'll start running through creating an image. So put all the image files onto that USB. There we go, so now it's starting the system software. So I'm going to restart my teach pendant and then we'll be back to our normal working with the robot and I'll have a full image backup of my robot just in case something goes awry. There we go. Image backup complete successful. Hit OK and now we're back. And that's how you create an image backup of your robot.